Hey guys, welcome back. Today, oh my gosh, I left my freezer open. I was gonna show you guys. I went to Costco and I'm gonna do a quick little Costco haul with you. I'm out of breath, I have to bring everything in. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I am always going to the grocery store and I was telling Chris today, I'm like, I cannot do this anymore. We gotta buy in bulk. So this is what I got, I'm gonna show you guys. Got some chips for their lunch. Chris loves decoy. I'm not much of a fan. Some chicken strips. TP, lots of it. Big box of Capri Suns. Eggo waffles. My kids love waffles with Nutella. Or cinnamon and sugar. And then some almond milk. All right, that's my haul. Not huge, but it's something. And it's a way to save money because I'm buying in bulk and I'm not in the stores constantly. So I use shift for this. They just dropped it off because... It makes life so much easier. And you guys know me, I don't mess around. I like to save money in any way I possibly can. And especially with getting the new couch and needing to get stuff for that. I have been searching and searching any way I possibly can to save a buck, because I have to. But one thing I wanted to tell you guys, I have been using my Shop Tagger app and it has made things so much easier for me. It has been such a lifesaver. All you have to do is go online to ShopTagger, put it in your Chrome browser, so your Google Chrome browser, and then you can add an extension. When you're shopping online, they make it so easy. You just go to the product you want and you add it to your list. You can even make really cool like little wish list. And then anytime the price drops, any way, shape, or form, you get dinged. I actually got dinged two times already from Target, which I was like, yes! Makes me so happy, because I do like to shop. I think a lot of us like to shop, but I like to save money, a lot of money. So if you like to shop like me, you better get that Shop Tagger app. I also wanted to mention that they offer coupons so they scour the internet and find whatever available coupons there are online. So as you see, I am in Target and I found a coupon on the site Then I am going to make a list and it's very organized and I can add things from whatever store into the list, you name them, whatever you want, have as many as you want. This is my target list, and I'm gonna add my Halloween items that I'm interested in, then I'm gonna go back to Target, put it into the cart, and be able to add the coupons there as well to save extra money. I'm gonna have the information in my description box so you can check it out. So today, I think I'm gonna make this soup that I posted on Instagram. You guys freaked out over it. So I am gonna actually do the recipe. A lot of people on Instagram are like, what is the recipe? Around here, because I am near Tampa, a lot of Latin and Cuban food, and there's this soup, and I'm not gonna even try to butcher the name, but it's basically a white bean and collard green soup. Oh my gosh. But I make it with these chicken sausage. Oh my gosh, so good. So when those groceries get here, I'm gonna show you how I do that. I'm actually waiting for my shift driver to come. It saves me money not going into store. It not only saves me time, but it saves me money. Because if I go into Target, I'm going to be spending more than I'm supposed to. So I just stand right here. And <laughs> Also, I want to show you guys a quick outfit of the day. All Walmart, you guys. This is one of the Walmart thermals. And it's like a waffle knit. You see this? Oh, God. I'm wearing a large. Usually I'm a medium and medium fits me great, but I wanted it a little more loose and I'm glad because I dried it and I feel like it fits me perfect now. So I would say size up if you want a little more of a loose fit. So I'm wearing a large and then these are my all-time favorite shorts. Y'all know I love. I have been looking all over the world for these. They are sold out, but these are my time and true shorts. They were I think like $13.00. Still wear them. This is what fall in Florida looks like. Thermals, shorts, and flip flops. I'm gonna wait for my ship to come. And then I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods. I think we should go to Home Goods for a little bit. Okay, you guys. So the order, the shipped order came, and I'm gonna start making the white bean soup. I wish I knew the proper name. If you guys know, if I think it's a Cuban soup. If you guys know what it is, comment below. It said white bean and collard green soup. What I do is I take a, a pot like this, and then I'm gonna bring it to boil the old Southern way. You're supposed to bring it to boil, 
let it sit for an hour um, with the heat off and then drain and then do it again. I don't got time for all of that today. So I'm just gonna bring it to a boil and I'm gonna cook it for a little bit. And then once it's like partially done, I will throw it into the crock pot. If you have plenty of time, you can completely omit this step because it's later in the day I have to do this. But in a crock pot, you just add your little bit of water, some chicken broth, the white beans and everything and it cooks all day. You do not have to fuss with it. It is something that you just throw in there and go. But I'm a slacker. And my groceries didn't get delivered till later. So we're doing the pot. Wake up at your place. Wake up at mine. Same question. It is so, so important that you go ahead and salt your water. Carbohydrates like this do not salt well at the end. So salt your water, whether it's noodles, rice, potatoes, beans, salt the water and it'll salt will cook in it. And then if you have too much, you can just drain it and not worry about it. So this is what it is. You see the water is like right on top and I'm gonna bring this to a boil and let it cook for a little bit. And then I will put everything in the crock pot. Soup is cooking, which is good, and I'm about to make myself a snack and make the kids a snack. No one for me. I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, him. I want a meat and cheese now he wants a meat and cheese tortilla roll, which is basically turkey meat, like seasoned with like taco, with cheese and tortilla. This is my go-to snack right now, and I'm obsessed with these. I talked about these on my Instagram. It's the Canyon blueberry bagels. If it would, oh my gosh, with strawberry cream cheese, there's nothing like it. Liam, do you want me to make your snack? Uh, yes, a blueberry bagel with strawberry cream cheese. You know what I like. These bagels are amazing. You know what I like. I really don't. What do you like? How about a regular bagel? I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. All the time. And my heart's beating fast and it's looking like that Oh, smile is killing me It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter
This is my snack. It is so good. So good. Mm. We gotta do our homework, guys. Okay, it is all done. I went ahead. I usually make cornbread with it, but I didn't have any tonight. So I did some rice. My husband doesn't like, Chris doesn't like no, a lot of juice, one, one. so I'm putting his over rice. You don't like a lot of juice, so I'm putting yours over rice. It looks so good, but here's the juice. You can add more liquid if you like it really juicy. They're playing four corners, and they're trying to learn the rules of the game. Thank you for this food, thank you for this day, thank you for the life. Thank you for all the, how wealthy we are, and thank you for the kids and people who are donating to charity right now. So my Father, and the Spirit, and the three spirits, Holy, Jesus, and God, let this day be blessed in Jesus' name, amen. Thank mm -hmm. you, that was so good. Thank you. That was so sweet. So sweet. Good job, Noah. Good, bud. Responsibility. No, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, Look at you, oh my goodness, and I didn't even have to ask? Buddy, that's really good. Here, baby. Public's Bakery. Oh gosh, Publix Bakery. My hands. Here, baby. I had to go wash my makeup off, and I'm going to start cleaning this kitchen. This is already gone. Everyone's taking their baths. So I got to clean this kitchen, and then I'm going to try to decorate this little round thing I'm going to put on my coffee table. And I'm going to. I guess we just, you know, those things on Instagram, tap to clean. Tap. And done. So I got this from Home Goods. It's like a, a wicker basket and it's lighter color. And I thought it would be nice with the cream walls since the couch is gray. So I got this and then I've had this for a long time, you guys. If you've been here for a long time, you know I found this at the thrift store for like two or three dollars. And so I'm thinking of putting like some hydrangeas or some like cascading tulips. I don't know which one I want to do and I'm going to stack them and I'm going to um, try to make this like a really pretty tray for on the coffee table. And then I've got some greenery here. So maybe I could put that somewhere on here with some books. I want to have some height, but if I have the tulips, then I might not need this. But if I don't have the tulips, this would look really pretty. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I also have some blue plates. So you guys know I store decor all over the place. Even these would be really pretty, but I think I'm going to keep these here. I got that painting. It's actually professionally matted. It's a 36 by something, and I got two of them for $20. You cannot beat that. This is what I'm talking about when I'm like classic stuff. This is what I love. I, I love the gold frame. It's a Monet. The colors are beautiful and rich. Obviously, it's a mess over here right now. I'm going to clean this up. But I was putting some like, playing with some of the decor. Put that back here. But I've got these beautiful plates. This would be really pretty. I found this at the hospice store. So we could do something like that. Like inside of there. Maybe with some books. And then I've got these really beautiful marble um, coasters, but they're in the back of my van. I will show those to you. But maybe something like that and a candle. I'm not going to burn the candle. It'll just be for scent. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So I found these two. This could be really pretty. These are antique milk glass candles with the coasters here. I think instead of this, I'm going to want this with the cascading tulips. I think it would look really pretty. For now, just to get an idea of the greenery and the height. Right there. And then the coasters. 
Maybe I should get a couple books. Here's some books for height. a picture of my mom when she was probably my age here and then I got this like little Dollar Tree gold frame I'm gonna keep playing around with it a little bit I think it would need to be like a picture like that and that's not gonna work you get the idea I'm gonna make some really cute arrangement in here. I've always wanted a coffee table to do that with. Now I get to do it. So I just got to figure out what I want to do. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. Probably get some inspiration on Pinterest. That's where I get a lot of my inspiration and I follow a ton of decor accounts on Instagram. I follow more decor accounts than anybody else. Um, I figure if I'm going to be on Instagram, I might as well get inspired. So before I sign off and say goodbye, I'm going to go probably run on the run. I'm going to go ride my bicycle for 30 minutes. Hardcore. That's what I've been doing four times a week and it has worked so well. I stopped going to the gym. I got tired of going there and being around a whole bunch of people. Maybe it's my social anxiety, but I didn't like it. And I do very quick spurts of exercise. And then I felt guilty because people are in there for hours dying and I'm in there for 15 minutes and I feel good about myself. But I started thinking, am I doing something wrong? So I just decided to stop going to the gym. I do my lunges and my squats at home and I do the bike and the bike has helped me so much drop weight quick. The more, and I wanted to add more cardio so I just do it in my uh, garage. So I do it about 30 minutes, four times a week. So that is what I've been doing and I feel like it's working. I'm gonna probably start putting the kids to bed now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You said you wanted more vlogs. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try to do a couple of them a month for you guys just what is that Ugh. what is that i have like this thing here i'm gonna go to the dermatologist and see what that thing is can they suck that out like what is that i don't even know whatever aging so you guys said you wanted more vlogs so here you go i hope you're enjoying it kind of get a see what it's like to be a part of our family which you are a part of our family and if you're not a part of the family and you want to be just hit that subscribe button i'm going to start editing this vlog here so i can get it up to you when the day you're on the day that you're seeing this and start putting my kids to bed and do all the things that moms are supposed to do in the evening because that's what we're supposed to do i hope you guys enjoyed it um i'm excited to share this total new living room redo with you guys and you guys said yes to the dedicated decorating video i am going to do that i'm actually going to walk around my house and show you everything that i've got either that i've repurposed bought from a thrift store dollar store and show you how i decorated my house on a budget because y'all every single item in my house was purchased at a discount store a home goods store clearance thrift store goodwill salvation army yard sales everything 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 so I don't pay full price for anything. I won't. I won't. But, you know, that's just the way we roll here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this day with us. And I'm really tired. But I love you guys so much. So, I'm going to go push out this vlog. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. I will have some more cleaning motivation and decorating motivation. And anything, hopefully, to inspire you in life. Because my goal is to just hopefully love on you guys and inspire you and let you know that you are not alone in this journey you are a blessing you are worthy and i love you i hope to see you guys in the next one Bye.